love. So today we're going to play with some Revolution products. I think all of these are new. They're at least new to Ulta. Let's see, we have a new contour. We have Ulta contour and highlight. We have a new highlighter, a new blush, a new brow product, palette, a new mascara. Um, obviously, we're mostly going to be focusing on the chilled palette today. We're going to play with it. We're going to try out pretty much all of these. All right, love, so we're just gonna jump in and try these products. If you wanna see the look that you saw at the beginning of this video, then you are in the right place. Just keep watching. Please subscribe if you have not already. We upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and more. Um, and if you are a returning subscriber, be sure to hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. All right, let's do this. All right, let's, I already have my foundation on. I didn't do my concealer yet because I am going to, I think, use shadow shields because I have kind of a look in mind, just how I get inspired looking at this palette. Um, and then I have my brows on, which are crazy right now. They definitely need to be trimmed and like fixed. All I did was throw on some brow pencil. It's the Anastasia Brow Definer in Taupe. Um, I did get this highbrow gel, which I'm really excited to try. I got, I think it only came in three shades. I got ash brown, so. We're gonna try this real quick. My hair is a mess and I think I'm not over the blonde. I'm over my hair right now um, as I have a million roots, but I think I'm gonna change. I think I'm gonna change. We're gonna do it slow because I think I wanna go darker, but I'm scared that I'm gonna hate it. So we're gonna start slow. Oh, the packaging is cool. It's got a really tiny, I'll show you guys in a second. Really tiny little brush, which I like. I feel like it is for the most part getting my brows in the right place. I'm not sure if this is just meant to be color on the brows or to actually set them or both. So far so good on this. I always have to have my brows on before I start my eyeshadow. I just feel like it frames the face and it frames my eye and I just, it just helps me be a little more even. Okay, so I think we're gonna use shadow shields. Shop and State has their own version now and I ordered it, but I think I left it upstairs and these are down here, so I'm just gonna use these. Um, I'm sure the Shop and State ones are just as good. These guys I just got off of Amazon. Ooh, girl, this is what the palette looks like. I like that even though it's mostly green and there are a bunch of really intense shades, there's glitters and stuff, there are still shades in here to get an everyday look. So if you don't want a super bold look, but you still want green sometime, this is a really great palette for that. So I did prime my lids. I just used the Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in Halo, the white one, and just tapped it out with a beauty sponge. So it's not super intense, but it's on there. So I think we're gonna start with Relax, which is a really great transition shade. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush. This one's from BH Cosmetics in their Essential Eyes Kit. And I'm just going to lay that down like right above the crease. If you don't, if you have hooded lids, I recommend putting it like just above your crease as your transition. If you have non-hooded lids, you can just put it right into the crease. Having hooded eyes, I like to make my lid look bigger. So I usually put my transition above the crease. And I'm just going to blend that right onto that shadow shield. I know that I want to use plant, which is this guy right here. So maybe we'll just go ahead and go in with it and get it on the lid. This is just a Carity E30. It's just a pointed tapered blender. And this I'm just going to lay down right into like right above the crease. I like this brush because I can like, I can put the point into the crease and blend upwards. bit of leaf which is this green guy right here I'm gonna try and put that kind of between the two shades because I feel like plants not blending out as seamlessly as I would like so I'm hoping this guy will it's in a matte cream shade in the palette so I'm just gonna take my face powder and get it open which is the physician's formula mineral correcting powder and translucent take mist at least in the center of the lid so this guy right here oh she pretty tap that out here oh it's so pretty 
I don't know if it's even translating as pretty as it is, but look at it. I think I'm gonna put Candyland, which is this lighter, oop, right here, it's lighter, shimmery green. I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. Oh my gosh, it's so much prettier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not usually a green person either. You guys probably know that if you've watched my channel for any period of time. I do not wear green that often. I loved green when I had my dark hair. I never get right in that corner, especially with nails on. I feel like I'm gonna blend this a little over the other one. Can I am pulling it up and over. You won't be able to tell a lot, but now there's just gonna be a little bit of shimmer on that green. Okay, I feel like I'm gonna take off the shadow shields now, which I just popped them off. So we're looking a little crazy. Don't worry. Liner and lashes and a bottom lash line will cure everything. I need to decide if I wanna put glitter on though, because I feel like I should put the glitter on before I do my concealer and stuff. I really want to use a tiny bit of bud, which is this glitter right here. Ooh, girl, you barely touch it. I hope it'll stick. I probably should use a glitter glue, but you know what stage we just can't be bothered. Put it right in the center there. I'm going to take the tiniest bit of goddess, which is the lighter glitter. I still have some of the other glitter on my finger and I don't even, I don't even care. Just a tiny, tiny bit. I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way to the inner corner because I really do like that other shade. Just put a tiny bit like right in between the two. Of course I couldn't do this look without pink glitter on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do some concealer and then we'll do the bottom lash line and a wing and some lashes and hopefully this won't look so crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna to wanna to use this highlight or the other highlight. Maybe we'll use both, but this looks beautiful. This is the Sculpt and Glow Desert Sky. This is the lightest of their Sculpt and Glows. This is actually Revolution Pro, but I did get this from Ulta. It's pulling a little bit orange. Um, we're just gonna keep using it and go for it. Uh, but I don't know how I feel about the color. I feel like it's just too warm. I'm gonna dip into my Emojination Highlight to the Moon palette and just use a little, oop, I meant a little of these. I guess I'm using a little bit of the darkest one. And I'm just gonna put that on top of it. Yeah, I feel like that's already fixing the tone a little bit. I would use that more as a bronzer personally than a actual contour because it is quite warm on my skin. All right, the blush we're gonna use today is the Blusher Reloaded in Sweet Pea. It looks very light, so I'm hoping that it'll translate a like you'll obviously be able to see it. Just using my ColourPop F9 brush. Oh yeah, you can see it. It's kind of a rosy. I think it said peach is what it was supposed to be, but I do kind of, I feel like it's a little bit rosy. Rosy peach? That's a lot, Shannon. Calm down. I get too excited with blush these days. I think I'll wait on the highlight just in case I have to clean up any of this area. I don't want to, it just is one more thing I have to fix. All right, we're gonna go back into the chilled palette. I think I'm gonna start with Leaf and put that on the lower lash line right here, the lightest of them all. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, now I'm gonna go into Plant, this guy right here. Focus that on the outer half of the lower lash line. Okay, I'm just gonna take a black liner. This one I think has glitter in it, but you won't be able to really tell because I'm using just a tiny bit out on my outer corner if I can speak. And then I am gonna start my wing with the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Pen in Ultra Black. Most likely because there's glitter, I'm gonna go back over it with the Renaissance Flick from Revolution just because this one really is opaque and it covers glitter well. I just prefer the tip on the Physicians Formula one.
I think we're gonna use these. I feel like I just hoard these and don't use them and I need to just use them. Uh, these are the Vegas Nay and Elore Grand Glamour Lashes. I love these, love these, love these. So I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and these and I'll be right back. The high volume, the blowout mascara. I'll keep you guys updated on this. Um, again, I'm not gonna use it because you're not gonna be able to really even see. I mean, I guess we'll use it. Let's just use it. Well, never mind. Let's just, let's just do it. I feel like it really grabs your lashes, which is nice. Okay, I'm already impressed. I know you guys can't see much. It's gonna be really hard for you guys to see and I messed up and got mascara on my face. Uh, but so far so good. I can't wait to use that mascara when I'm not wearing false lashes because I'll be able to really see how it goes. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop on these false lashes and I'll be right back. All right, we have our lashes on. I feel like the look is much more complete. I still have something in this eye and I can't find it at all. So I'm just gonna be a little awkwardly winky for the next few minutes. I hope you guys can handle it. Oh, good. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and try this highlighter reloaded in just my type. Ooh, really pretty. It's, I wouldn't call it subtle. It's not blinding, but you know what? We have, we have to try it. This is just the niacinamide spray again, because it's what's chilling on my little desk here. I usually go for a highlighter that's brighter than my skin tone, but I feel like this pretty much like blends in with my skin tone, but gives me a glow. Um, but it's not too dark where when it, the light's hitting it, you can't really see it. So this is nice. I like this one. I've literally been wearing the same lip in the last few videos. I'm sorry guys, but if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, I haven't really, I haven't been buying a lot of new makeup. So I just kind of go back to whatever I feel like it's going to work. And when I do a bold eye look, I feel like I need a new lip if I do a more, um, subdued so, eye look then I feel more free to do a brighter lip I just don't prefer bright and bright I would do subdued and subdued but I don't think I do bright and bright unless it's like a look so the current use this is the Steve Laurent lippy pencil I always say lippy pencil because I am a color pop girl for life <laughs> Steve Laurent lip pencil in chic the revolution chauffeur lipstick and then the buxom gloss in sandy I also normally wear the I Heart Revolution chocolate chip cookie dough gloss, but it's in my purse upstairs. So I'm just gonna go with Sandy because it's right here. love so this is the completed look i hope you guys liked this please give this video a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what kind of tutorial you would like to see next i am going to do a haul on all of the revolution stuff that i got because i have a whole bunch more revolution pro that i haven't featured yet but so that haul will be up very soon um i think that's everything i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you have not already we upload videos every monday wednesday friday and more and make sure to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i upload all right i love you guys so much i'll talk to you soon Hey love, so today we're gonna play, why do I sound so weird? Mm. I'm just feeling like you're, oh girl, I would get a spot. And it's easy peasy. Easy peasy, no, I'm crazy.